Hey everyone, it's Tony Casera here. Welcome back to my channel. If you've seen one of my previous videos, you may have known that my Steam Deck OLED, although being very good, had a couple of small problems with it. In particular, I have the problem with the headphone jack where it makes a bunch of noise. It's kind of related to the speed that the APU is running at, as well as a problem with my joysticks. They weren't the same. The best way I could describe the joystick issue is that the one on the left felt like it was a brand new joystick, very like sticky and grippy. The one on the right was very powdery and dry. It just felt very old. And I know it's a small thing, but it's a new deck. I paid for it. I wanted them to be in great condition for a couple of reasons too. One, you can't buy joystick replacements right now. So whatever you get, you're kind of stuck with. And two, I mean, I want them to be perfect. I'm definitely a little obsessive compulsive about that kind of stuff. And if you're watching this video, it's a good chance that you might be also. So. I contacted Steam, I told them my concerns about the joysticks and about the headphone noise, and they are made it. They said, here's the label, send it back to us, we'll take care of it. Now, I was a little suspicious because I'm like, okay, I know this is a small thing, I bet you Valve thinks that it's like, you know, sort of a small thing, maybe it's not such a big deal or whatever, but I just got my Steam Deck back and we're gonna open it together and see just how good a job they did. Okay, so first of all, this is definitely not the box that I shipped it in. Uh, this is a new one that they gave me, which is nice touch, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. First thing that I notice here is this white envelope here. And then here is my Steam Deck. Now, I'm gonna spoil a surprise here. This is not the first time I've opened the box, but uh, I just wanted to inspect to make sure that everything was there first before I recorded. But we are gonna go through each part of this together. First thing first, let's talk about this form. This basically details all the work that was done on my Steam Deck. When I sent in my Steam Deck, I actually included on the piece of paper that had the RMA authorization number, I wrote down the things that I wanted them to look at, just to be sure. So I wrote down the joysticks were not the same, and I detailed that the right one felt powdery and the left one felt new. And then I detailed that the headphone jack was being really noisy when I used it. And sure enough, right here it says, unit checked for customer's complaint. Replace audio board and left right thumbsticks. Software firmware upgraded to the newest version. I had installed my old hard drive back in, so it was running an outdated version of the firmware. Uh, reset unit to factory default settings. I had already done that. Uh, and quality control performed full function test. United Radio guarantees the service performed parts replaced for 90 days. Now, if United Radio seems unfamiliar to you, so they outsource this to a company that does the repairs for them. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's actually great. It allows more people to have jobs in this industry without having to work directly for Valve. Apparently, they went ahead and changed everything I complained about. So let's get into it a little bit here. Now, when I received this, I did check uh, and there was a uh, little hair from my dog, Tortellino, on the bottom of it earlier. Uh, so this is definitely my original Steam Deck. Uh, case and it's also the original Steam Deck. I think they would have notified me if they had replaced it, but I double checked. Uh, the serial number is the same, so it's definitely the same one. So let's get rid of the box here. And by the way, for those of you wondering, this is the box that the the power cable came in. They wanted me to uh, not include the power cable when I returned it. I didn't, and I did not get like another power cable or something. It's literally just here for the packaging so that everything fits in the box snugly. Uh, and it's not damaged in transit. Opening the Steam Deck up here. And first thing you notice, it's a Steam Deck. It looks great. Uh, it looks really clean. And of course, the first thing I checked was the joysticks. And they are both brand new. They are sticky. They are identical. It's glorious. That This is <laughs> literally, there was the one thing that was bothering me about my Steam Deck is that the joysticks were not the same in feeling. And just, I tried so hard. I told myself, I'll get used to it. I'll get over it. No, I never did. And so I RMA'd made it. Uh, the next thing is that uh, on top here, you can't tell just by looking at the headphone jack, but uh, this is a, a new PCB board. I already opened this up and put in my replacement hard drive, which by the way, you should check out my guide if you haven't. Uh, really easy to upgrade the hard drive on these things. But in doing so, I got everything back that I had. So I didn't have to re-download any games. I didn't have to uh, reinstall my account or anything. Just popped in the hard drive and I was good to go. Easy peasy, so, so cool. If you are going to RMA, they tell you to take any third party parts out. I highly recommend that you take the hard drive out if you put a replacement one in. If you only have the original one, I would just go ahead and format it, send it back to them, let them run their tests on it. If there's something wrong with the hard drive, they may replace it. Uh, they tend to be pretty detailed is what I've heard. All I had to do was go through, I pulled out the, the hard drive that came with it. I put in my replacement two terabyte hard drive. Uh, I turned it back on 
and everything's working great. If I turn this on right here, you'll see I gotta type in my pin here. Like, it was super easy process. This is one of the best RMA processes I've ever had. Because I've rma made parts with Corsair, Asus, other companies, and it always takes a long time. It takes a long time to get the RMA approved. Steam approved it within 24 hours of me messaging them about it. Um, it takes a long time usually to send it back. Steam had me send it to a place in Utah. I'm in Los Angeles. And so I shipped it on a Wednesday. Uh, they received it at United Radio that Friday. And the following Tuesday, I got a notice that they had started working on it. By the next day, Wednesday, they had already mailed it back out and I received it that Friday. A total of seven business days from when I shipped it out that I got it back. Like, I was so worried about that I'd be going, like, long time, like, I was expecting two to four weeks to get it back. And I got it back in less than two weeks. I'm so happy with the process. And I gotta say, I'm just, I'm so happy with it. Steam is just knocking it out the park here. If you want to RMA your deck because the headphone issue or same with the joysticks like mine or something else, do it. Valve is awesome about it. Um, and like, it just makes me want to stick with their ecosystem even more. Gosh darn, I love the Steam Deck. If you have any questions about the return process, go ahead and leave them down below. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and like this video so others can see it too. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.